Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly readings. Welcome in, welcome in. We are doing the first week going into January um, for the weekly reads. Yeah, I don't timestamp guys because energy and time is fluid. Uh, you're going to either resonate with the title or the first five minutes of this reading. Sometimes they're specific and sometimes they're not. But not to mention that there are so many of you guys, you're not all going through the same thing at the same time. So let's see what's going on here. I'm also going to encourage you guys to listen to your moon and your rising. Aside from that, I want you guys to know, welcome to the universal year of six and happy new year's. The universal year of six talks about relationships. So everyone, the collective as in any zodiac sign, this year is a year of you're either getting a divorce or you're getting married. Some of you might be even doing both for all I know. Um, yeah, and it's funny as I say that because justice is at the bottom of the deck, which is talking about court and fairness. Now, this is what you're dealing with, justice. Some of you are actually in court. Some of you could be getting a divorce. Others of you, this could be business-related court-wise. Others of you, this is talking about karma, and it's in the upright position and falling on your behalf. With the ten of rods, you're burdened. You're laden with so many responsibilities so many things as some of you had an ending recently you might have had a divorce for some of you in december 2020 or you're facing one now in um 2022 there's an ending of some kind here you know and you're burdened Th these are your baggages the ending of whatever this relationship was and justice is here something fair and balanced and honest working towards your defense or on your behalf now in your situation is definitely talking about marriage with the Ten of Pentacles, okay? Uh, some of you, this could be talking about getting engaged to get married. So I'm talking to two different camps of Sagittarius here because the Four of Wands talks about structure, foundation, home, engagement. Now this to me, that cannot be read in any way, shape or form. This is getting engaged to get married. The moon. There are some secrets though being held from you. There are some things in the unknown. So this is why you're debating it. You're at a fork in the road here. All right? And King of Swords. Some of you are dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, uh, Sagittarius, and you're at a fork in the road. Do you go towards the new thing or do you t take a step back to your past? We're going to clarify and we're going to see what this is all about. Um, what's coming towards you is the tower the five of cups and the king of pentacles oof some of you guys are dealing with two energies sorry there's an earth sign and there's an air sign here sagittarius um let me just plug my computer in before i completely lose you guys so there's a disappointment over here on a loss of some kind of stability with somebody or there's a foundation that broke apart, like a marriage broke apart. So like I said earlier, before I even dropped the cards, some of you are getting divorced, others of you are getting married, some of you are even doing both. You're getting out of a marriage and you're getting remarried. Um, but over here, what's coming towards you, there's sadness, disappointment, guilt, sorrow, regret over dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. There's a big collapse in your foundation here. Again, we'll clarify and we'll see what that's all about. What you don't see coming is the Seven of Pentacles. Interestingly enough, you are investing time and energy into something here. Now, this could be a job, a company, a home, real estate, um, or a person. We'll see. In your advice, we have the Two of Swords. Two of Swords is you being torn, and you need to make a decision. And in your advice position, Spirit saying, you got to make a choice. We're not making it for you. So we're going to clarify and see if I can get you more advice. But this is you. Which one do I choose? Which career path do I take? Which person do I choose? Do I get married or not? Or do I get divorced or not? Whatever. It's the situation as well. It's the spirit saying you need to decide. Um, but here's the good news in your outcome is the six of wands. And, uh, success. Complete success. And that's why you have justice in the upright position. Fair, balanced, and just. Um, let's go ahead and start clarifying. 
Maybe there's a air sign that's proposed to you, wants to get engaged to you. Others of you are divorcing an earth sign. Doesn't have to be, but somebody that you had stability with. What is this four of wands, the moon? It's possible, you know, some, some, I feel like Sagittarius, a lot of you guys are getting out of something that was long-term and you're getting into something else with someone else. Or you're definitely going towards some invested uh, person. Yeah. This is talking about love for me. I'm sorry. Let me just adjust this right here. Yeah, because the Queen of Cups is here and it's talking about love. And the High Priestess is somebody you might not even be speaking to or you're keeping things to yourself. Um, what else is the situation over here with the moon? What is the moon? Yeah, your person is keeping something from you. They're hiding something from you because they're trying to manifest this engagement, this proposal or whatever. Or maybe this is you trying to, uh, um, some of you might be trying to have this proposal or get engaged with somebody or move in with somebody or do something with an air sign, okay? You're trying to manifest this with an air sign, with the magician here. Uh, and this is in regards to love. So others of you, this is just your air sign person holding something back. That's your situation, so please take it as it resonates. Now, what is this about the earth sign and feeling guilt, remorse, resent? Like, there's resentment there. I mean, there's a complete collapse in a foundation. That could be a marriage or even a job because the king of pentacles represents money, stability. Yeah, judgment call was made in regards to your uh, personal wish fulfillment. Um, you are definitely in a relationship with somebody where you had stability and something fell apart and you, you're just so sad about how it didn't work out. You want stability. You want to go towards that Sagittarius, but that's what's coming towards you. Feeling guilt, resentment, or some, some kind of sorrow over a foundation that broke apart that you had stability with somebody. It's just like haunting you in a weird way. I don't know. I don't. That's not a word I use ever. Haunting. Um, what is the Seven of Pentacles? You're investing time and energy um, with somebody here. Uh, the Hangman in Reverse. You're you're trying to okay. So when we look at the five of cups, we the five of cups to us is like we're looking over our past and we're disappointed, we're sad, and we feel guilty, whatever the case may be. But then we also know that there are blessings behind us, like these two cups here, right? This guy has two cups behind his back. He's aware of it, but he just hasn't had the strength yet to turn around and grasp them. All right, but you will because what's going to happen is you're going to see it from a different perspective. And you're going to see the blessings. You're going to be like, oh, there you are behind me. When you take a different approach, when you look at it from a different angle. And then you start investing into that, that blessing that the spirit has waiting for you. And then you will find wish fulfillment with each other. And when you do this, then you're like, okay, now I can move forward. Now I can put time and energy into this situation. And this is you coming from a place of feeling left out in the cold. What's the Two of Swords? Oh, my God. You need to get clever, Saji, okay? In regards to a relationship that you had that... Um, there, okay, so there's a passionate new beginning here waiting for you Sagittarius to come into your life. So you need to get smart. You need to get clever because right now you're torn. You can't make a decision here with this two of swords. But the seven of swords tells me somebody cheated on you. Somebody ghosted you. Somebody left you. Whatever they did to you. Something happened to you. You need to open your eyes. Okay? And stop deluding yourself. And that's why your relationship went on the rocks in the first place. Okay? Stop deluding yourself with the seven of cups in reverse. That's why your relationship went on the rocks in the first place. Even though they're giving you a new offer or you're giving them a new offer. Okay, because the potential of a passionate new beginning is here for you with the, the uh, Ace of um, 
Pentacles. What other advice can I give Sag? They said nothing. That was that. And I'm not gonna mince words. <laughs> what is the six of rods, please? Hmm. Wheel of Fortune. Faded. Uh, good luck is on your side. Of course, look at, look at your fucking planet, Jupiter. Not to mention, Venus is still in retrograde um until the end of january but it's gonna take a few weeks into february to go direct because it needs to have a cup of coffee and wake up so <laughs> but you will in the outcome over here have success because you have manifested something here and it's again it's you manifesting something here with an air sign it's an interesting vibe i'm getting here um but you at the end will manifest success And I love it. And then the fates are working on your behalf. Why? Because you realize you cut out something that was no longer serving you. And why do I say you do this? Because temperance is here and that's your card. That's the Sagittarius card. Because you use your wisdom to bring yourself a fresh new beginning in truth, honesty, and clarity here. Let's see what um, your romance angels have to say. soulmate attraction okay keep an open mind i knew it new love i knew it worth waiting for i knew it okay and these are all beautiful cards remember when i was telling you what's coming towards you in the position of what's coming towards you is the seven of pentacles where you're like you're sad and you're looking but you you haven't turned around yet to see the two cups eventually you do right you realize those two cups behind you a I know it's new love because that's why I was looking at the page of wands over there. You know, B, this person is worth waiting for or your, your soulmate here at the bottom of the deck is worth waiting for. Okay. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. You need to separate yourself from this past person or this past energy to in order for you to actually be independent and have an independent thought on what's best for you, you, you need to take the time alone. You need to, to be by yourself for like a hot minute. Um, and you will attract in a new love when you're like this. So if I'm talking to the Sagittarius that's totally single, isn't dealing with an ex, that you have nobody in your life, obviously you're attracting new love here. At the end of the day, I don't care if you're dealing with somebody or you're not. You're attracting new love. Attraction, new love. And this person was worth waiting for. Okay? And keep an open mind because they're not going to be your usual type. Keep an open mind. Because you might diss them right away. Because you might either A, be emotionally attached to somebody from your past. B, not your normal character. Or C, you're just not ready. But keep an open mind because they're potentially a soulmate. All right? Let me get some cards from Kipper, and this is going to be your reading. Those of you that are members in the extended, we're going to clarify all of these cards with the Tarot, uh, and the Kipper will clarify with Tarot. And then I'm also going to go all the way from Aries to Pisces to see if you're who you're dealing with or who's coming towards you. This is the year of lovers. It's lovers. That's it. Boom. Um... Yeah, I'm not going to pull anymore. We're going to clarify lovers. But you have a lover coming in. You have new love coming in. Attraction. You're attracting new love coming in. This is beautiful. All right, guys. This is what I have. Short and sweet. I know, but this is perfect. So I will see the rest of you in the extended. I'll see you next week.